Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 25th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the SkyCam uh, network, and we're looking at Trustful. Got a few high clouds uh, moving across, maybe a couple of middle clouds in there, a little hard to see. A little uh, drier in the Tennessee River Valley as we look out from Decatur at the Tennessee River, and uh, the drier air certainly made its way in there. The frontal system along the Gulf Coast has sunk a little further to the south, and the, the uh, low pressure area that was giving a good deal of rain to the coast has uh, elongated somewhat and so it's weakened and not likely to develop into anything in the upper atmosphere as we advertised yesterday and the models did a pretty good job the uh, upper ridge is becoming stronger and that is going to allow us to dry out as we see a northerly flow aloft and somewhat northeasterly flow as long as well as an easterly flow at the surface we're already seeing that easterly flow on the surface map you can see the temperature is already with a, an east-to-west gradient uh, around 66 at Carrollton, Georgia, and uh, around 74 at Tuscaloosa. And we're going to see that for the next couple of days. The really important news, though, is to see those mi uh, mid and upper 50 dew points across uh, Georgia that will be giving us a drier weather. Much of the precipitation has uh, sunk a little further into the Gulf uh, as that low pressure area is somewhat elongated, but still giving us a good deal of rain to the uh, beach goers, uh, especially across uh, northwest Florida and uh, southwest Alabama and the Alabama coast. Precipitation likely to be very little for us for the next five days. Uh, we're probably going to see the next chance for showers come on Friday. So it looks like we're going to see about five good days of dry weather. The uh, Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk in the western Great Lakes area for day one. And then day two, it doesn't change a great deal. Uh, with another slight risk uh, across parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. The tropics uh, are still fairly quiet. Uh, the National Hurricane Center has stopped mentioning the elongated low along the central gulf. It's not likely to develop into anything. Uh, and they've ramped up a little bit the likelihood of the area coming off of the Yucatan that could uh, develop. But th that will only have a short time to develop as it goes across the southwest gulf. And as it does, it will go into Mexico. So at best, it probably would become a tropical storm. All right, here's the uh, 060 GFS model run surface map for today. And you can see the uh, precipitation in the Gulf primarily. And uh, we're pretty clear. And you can see that high pressure located over the mid-Atlantic states giving us an easterly flow. In the upper atmosphere, and that's where we're going to stick for most of these maps, you can see the ridge on Monday is there. The ridge is there on Tuesday. And uh, one thing I want to mention here, too, is that uh, we will have a northerly flow. So we're going to have to be very careful about, and the GFS is not suggesting any MCSs or mesoscale convective systems, but uh, we need to be careful of those that might come through the flow. By the time we get to Wednesday, uh, the ridge has not changed a great deal. It's wobbling a little bit, moving a little, but not much. Thursday, still pretty much the same. And on Thursday, we do see a bit of a, a weak front coming down through uh, the southern Appalachians, but it's got very little moisture to work on down this way, so the result is uh, that I think Thursday will remain dry. On Friday, we do see that the ridge is weakened some uh, in terms of the overall strength, the 594 contour much uh, lower. And I think because of a slight increase in moisture, we may uh, introduce a slight chance of precipitation on uh, Friday and then into Saturday, uh, once again, the ridge weakening. And so uh, once again, as we get a little bit of easterly moisture coming our way, we could see some uh, scattered showers. And then when we get to Sunday, a week from today, you can see that the ridge is still there, but a little bit weaker. And again, because of the moisture, we could see some showers our way as that weak front has uh, come down into the area. Now, going out into voodoo country, we've seen a little bit of a change. Um, this illustrates pretty much uh, the, the change. Uh, we do have the big trough, and that signals potentially the first significant front of the fall season, um, you know, letting us know fall's just around the corner. This is the 5th of September. And also, the big change is, instead of being over Florida, around Tampa, <laughs> the upper low is out in the Atlantic. So uh, the tropical mischief is... Uh, uh, 
put way f way much further out and does not really affect the U.S. directly until around uh, Monday the 9th, and we see that it goes up into the New England states. Uh, that would probably be the 8th, actually. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for uh, today. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope your Sunday is a good one. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.